Owlbunga. We got more Zombicide. All right, so for those of you who backed Zombicide Green Horde, here is the Kickstarter uh, stuff that comes with you. It looks like this one isn't exactly a Kickstarter exclusive. This is a special guest box, but you get this along with your um, Kickstarter stuff. So that's pretty cool. I also ordered the Massive Darkness crossover cards so that I can utilize these for Massive Darkness. Pretty neat. Um, anyways, this box here contains all the exclusive miniatures. Now, I'm really happy they went the extra mile and made a really nice box for this. Because before this, um, if you were doing um, anything with uh, cool mini or not stuff, uh, you had to deal with all those funky trays. You couldn't really remember what order to put things in. Um, it was just a lot easier just to make new types of boxes for them. Uh, so anyways, here we go. Let's look at this. So again, this is just covered with, with awesome art. Awesome art, guys. Cool man or not, you definitely get your money's worth from their Kickstarters. So here's a, a really creepy board tile that's exclusive to the set. And here's a little booklet. Kind of tells you some of the special rules, it looks like. So you got this neat little dragon. You got new rules for new weapons and new abominations. You got zombie giants, uh, zombie unicorns, <laughs> the magenta uh, kafefi of Arg. We well, you know what that's supposed to be. Um, yeah, anyways, there you go. Extended targeting priority. So a little little expansion there, kind of, to expand your game. All right, now we get to the fun stuff. Now I've got the slip cover to kind of keep your miniatures in place. And yes, you're dealing with those plastic trays again. However, they have you organized this time. You've got your your dragon. Look at this guy. Now let's see how easy he is to assemble. Should just be able to snap fit it, right? Especially if they're planning for you to not glue this guy. Yeah, there you go. Little snap fit dragon. Makes it easier to transport. I'll probably glue it together just because I'm that kind of guy. But it's nice that, you know, they give you a better transport option here to transport your miniatures. I really like this this layout. Okay, here we go. Here's a big uh, giant. And I must say, they've gotten so much better at casting their miniatures. Uh, the, the bases are thicker. You know, more... Uh, it's a lot closer to the uh, Games Workshop style bases. Got this neat little ballista. That's a lot of fun. There's your... Uh, Gorgamination, Gorgamination, however you pronounce that. And um, one reason why I backed this was because not only did I like the miniatures, but if you're doing role play games or or like Dungeons and Dragons or any of those kind of fantasy things, and you want to have miniatures for your game, if you pick up some of the Zombicide Kickstarter stuff, um, like Green Horde or Black Plague, you're going to get a ton of miniatures that fit the setting. And lots of heroes as well. Like, um, like especially Massive Darkness, they just went all out giving you a variety of different kinds of things. Everything from rat men to dragon men. Um, unicorns, monsters, just all kinds of stuff. Here's an extra orc abomination. I'm actually kind of excited about that because I painted one of these up and I think I can do a better job. So I'm gonna, I get to do that again. But look at this, these are like creatures you probably would have never really asked for, but like you get them and you get to paint them up and make them awesome. The legendary black beast of Urg. I mean, the magenta cruffy of Ugg. I'm I'm debating on whether or not I want to glue little tiny googly eyes on this one. 
and just make it really silly. And then here's your zombie giant. So you can have your zombie guy die and then turn in, or you can have your giant die and turn into a zombie. Um, all right, we're gonna take a break for a couple minutes here and we're gonna go through the cards. And again, one of the appeals of Zombicide are all these character cards that are all um, cinema inspired kind of characters. So you got like a lot of cool options when you're playing the game to be, you know, any of these these guys. There's Badger, which is obviously like a Wolverine inspired guy. You've got inspirations from Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Marvel Comics, um, you know, Harry Potter, Vikings. Uh, even Mad Max. There's there's their version of a Wonder Woman. The Black Knight. Oh, is that Prince? Possibly. And even Stranger Things kind of inspired stuff. So, pretty cool. Here's a bunch of... Uh, Spawn cards. So this will be the way you uh, you get new weapons. Ooh, spiky armor. Animal armor. That's cool. What is these new kinds of cards? Oh, got like directional cards. That's kind of cool. Oh, feral dragons. Can spawn some dragons. Some fatty bursters. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is cool. I, I'm really excited that they have, you know, these spawn cards for big monsters. Hell yeah. Even some of the... Ooh, some villains too. That's cool. So you can use some of your heroes as villains this time. That's neat. All right. Safely secure those there. Oh boy. Oh, these silly plastic things. Okay, now, again, we have our little slip cover. Protects stuff from falling on the floor and getting everywhere. Thank you. Now, they have this little insert so that you can actually use these trays properly. So this just tells you the order to put all your minis in in both the top tray and the bottom tray. Extremely helpful, thank you guys. That's gonna make a lot of people's lives easier. All right, now we're gonna pull out these. Okay, so with the exception of these green zombies up here, everything else is quick starter exclusive here. So there you go. All those green guys, that's what you get in the core set. So those are just extras to kind of expand upon what you got. Then they have some abominations here. Um, well, actually, no, these are fatty bursters. They're the same color as the abominations sometimes. Um, or regular walkers, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. What am I saying? All right. Here's the dreaded Obama bunny. So if you want to do like a Monty Python kind of campaign, you got miniatures for that. Ain't that awesome? Okay, here's your necromancers. Now she is inspired from Willow, the witch from Willow. Very nice. And here's your count. Inspired by Bram Stoker's Dracula movie. That's the Gary Oldman kind of Japanese inspired look. Yes. This is great. You know, I'm going to use this guy for my Vampire Hunters game too. Oh god. 
completely forgot about my vampire hunters. I gotta paint those guys too. Uh, too much to paint. All right, there's this guy. He's awesome. Very Mad Max. Okay, there's a lot of miniatures here. I'm probably gonna run out of tape on this film if I pull them out individually. There you go. I'm just kind of gotta go across here. You got Classic Wizard. You got Z. Like some dwarves and like like V for Vendetta kind of inspired guys here. I mean, look at all these guys. Like, who doesn't want all these very unique looking heroes? Truly awesome. I'm gonna pull out. Here's the uh, the Iron Man inspired guy. That knight here. There's the storm inspired sorceress. Good job, guys. Those are rad. I'm really happy about this. Okay. So. Those go there. This goes here. And this goes in here. Okay, so that's the hoard box. Now, let's look at a special guest, Sean A. Murray. So, we have with us, looks like a villain and some heroes. Okay, so you got three heroes, right? Very interesting designs. They're vastly different designs. They're really cool though. I like that. And um, let's see. Then we have um, Insmouth, which is a Lovecraftian inspired villain here. It's a necromancer. So you got your necromancer spawn cards. Got a bunch of them. Okay. And he's chunky little miniature, which is actually pretty cool. We've got these mutated hands, this big cape, little jar of something sticking out of his head. Creepy little guy. You got your little fish dude. Let's get a look at him. He's very sprightly. Got this little wizard. Looks like wizard anyways. Yeah, what's this guy called? This guy is called Spellbones. The fish guy was called uh, Bermar, something like that. And this guy is, well, this is Kendra. So she's a really steampunky looking lady. And again, I believe these were all a part of the Kickstarter. So it's kind of cool getting a a special uh, Gateway Uprising special guest, Sean A. Murray. So, yeah, there you go. All right, um, I believe I have more time on my video here, so let's open up the Massive Darkness expansions. Oh, what do we have here? Doggies? These are... Oh, familiars. Oh, these are cool. All right, so we've got a dog, a flying cat, another dog, another dog, another flying cat, another dog. Familiars, huh. Okay, they're treasure items. Okay, that's cool. It'd be neat to have some miniatures for these. I don't know if they've, I don't think they've produced miniatures for these, but they're cool. So yeah, familiars, and then that explains the animal armor that you can get in the game. So that's pretty cool. Um, you could probably use some other Zombicide dog 
uh, companions from the other board game. Okay, so we have massive darkness stuff, and it looks like in your massive darkness we have character cards for. Yep, let's see. This is all. Let's see, massive darkness. Are these crossovers for this? Wait, let me check something. No, they're different styles. Okay, okay, so. So this is your Massive Darkness crossover from Zombicide Green Horde into Massive Darkness. Okay. So there's your guest characters right there. These are all your um, the characters that come in the Kickstarter of of um, Green Horde. Well, this is a guest artist. But these are some Green Horde stuff. Yeah, so those cross into Massive Darkness. Okay, I get it. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of these. All right. Uh, let's see, rules for familiars. So you can add familiars to the game. Ah, Massive Darkness, Crossover Walkers, Spectral Walkers, Swarm of rats. So a lot of the the stuff I ha I don't have actually um, from the rest of the uh, massive darkness stuff, but that's cool. I can use these rules and use my own models or whatever. You know, so you have some pretty cool stuff here, right? Yeah. So there we go. So now my green horde is compatible with massive darkness. Pretty awesome. All right, so that concludes my unboxing of the additional Kickstarter stuff that you can get for Zombicide Green Horde. Again, Kickstarter exclusive Horde box. Pretty awesome.